Hey everybody, this is Snook. Today I want to talk about Hive and blogging on Hive, which is what I do. I kind of figure, been here three years, I would try to offer some advice. I started on Hive when my son talked me into joining. I had no expectations at all about what was going to happen. I really was indulging him. And figured I'd be here about a month, and that was going to be it. Tell him that, see, I tried, and just didn't work out for me. Just not one of those things that I meant to do, and, and then I would leave. The total opposite happened. I ended up growing as a person, and a writer, and an artist, and videographer, and all kinds of stuff. And I made the most wonderful friendships along the way. That has carried me here for three years. So how did that happen? Well, I was lucky. Marion West started the Free Riders at the time. And one of the rules, the main rule that got me to try it was that there was no wrong way of doing it. And when I started on the blockchain, there was all these rules that your post had to be so long and it had to be quality and all this stuff. And I was really kind of afraid to even write anything. So having that freedom to know that no matter what you wrote was going to be okay is what made me want to do it and gave me the, no, oh, what's the word? Um, it gave me the courage to try. That's sometimes all it takes is that leap of faith and courage. So I started writing, and it was really cool because it was a one prompt, and there was about 10 of us that, in the beginning, was doing it every day. So you'd go read everybody else's post and just see the diversity in what one word can prompt other people to write. From there, you left comments, funny ones or good ones or bad ones or whatever. It was really a positive thing all the way around. Every day you would write another story. And it was something that I made myself do. And one of my friends would tease me and they were like, you really like that free write thing. And I said, yes, because I can do it. There's no pressure other than to come up with an idea. And by doing it every day, it started using muscles in my head that got me thinking again, that got me so that I trusted my gut because you only had five minutes. So what came into your head is what came out. So you didn't have time to second guess yourself. Now for me, because I don't spell very well and I don't type very well, I would go back and fix my mistakes and write my story. So it made sense. A five minute story took me a couple hours to get down on paper. But it started me being able to be a part of a community on the blockchain. The people that were there in the beginning, and might still be now, we became ridiculously good friends. I literally spent my days laughing. And I will tell you right now, it wasn't about the votes, because all of us had started roughly about the same time. When I started, my vote was worth one penny. And so was everybody else's. So what we would do is vote on each other's stuff, of course. You made about 10 cents per post. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to become a millionaire at 10 cents a post. Every once in a while, somebody would come along and you get a little higher vote. But So you made 25 cents per post. But again, this is when the price of Hive, the cryptocurrency, was at its all-time high. And, you know you're still making 25 cents a post. Now I had friends that were really good writers and put in a lot of time and they were making a couple hundred dollars per post and they deserved it. And it wasn't, for me, it was never, uh, well, I should be making that. I just, I don't think that way. I was proud of my friends. I was happy for my friends and I was where I should have been at my writing level and I was just having fun learning and meeting new people and laughing. And there was 
if you go back to those original free write posts, the comment section were actually better than the stories. And the neat thing was is that we started finishing other people's stories in the comment sections. Or somebody would start a story and then take somebody to do the next part. And they would take somebody else and they would do the next part. You would end up with a week's worth of a whole story that was written by different people in all their different perspectives. So it was really, really entertaining. And you learned so much. And you learned how to come up with a concept and fly by the seat of your pants in an instant. And it was really great. Everybody had their faults and and had their positives. But it didn't matter because it was a group of people doing something together and having a lot of fun. And that was the key. That was the key to keep me here and the key to me having enough confidence to try new things, knowing that I had a group of people around me that would give me honest feedback, but in a nice way. And there was never a competition of who made more. It was never about that. So if somebody got a Kiri vote at the time when they were worth a lot of money, you were so happy for them. And and that was it. There was there was no jealousy. There was no I should be making that. It was so proud for your friend that they got noticed by somebody. And that was the mentality of the people that I was around. And I think that if you are on Ive and you're not around that kind of supportive group of people, then you need to find another group to belong to because the longevity of your time here is going to be because of the community and not necessarily about what you're writing or what you're doing because the community itself is what keeps people here. I mean, you still want to try your hardest at what you're writing and what you're sharing with everybody, no matter what it is, no matter if it's technical or personal or or whatever. But it comes down to being authentic to yourself when you're writing, but it also comes down to reaching out to other people and offering advice in a positive way and your attitude about being on Hive. I've always, always saw votes on my post as a gift because they can be taken away before the seven days by somebody that doesn't like your post. So until you actually get paid out, that money is there as a gift. And I'm lucky enough that over the three years, the votes on my post have gotten larger. And for that, I'm grateful. But do I think that every post is going to make a lot of money? No, I don't. But that doesn't stop me from being happy when I see other people making a lot of money on their posts. Because you never know somebody's journey and what they've done to get there and how they've gotten to where they are. So a lot of it is just like starting a new job. If you go into a new job and you're very negative and you complain about everything, nobody wants to be around you. And 10 to 1, you probably will lose your job pretty soon. So keep that in mind. Hive and blogging on Hive is a form of work. So your attitude and everything else is a major part of it. And how you interact with the community also plays a major role in what you do. And then the quality of your work also. So it all plays a part. And Hive and your experience on Hive is what you make it. You can either make it a miserable time or you can relax, enjoy, be yourself, and have fun with it. And personally for me, fun will always, and laughter will always take precedence. Because why do something that makes you miserable? It just, it doesn't pay. I hope that helps, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!